dry vent ridge systems, providing a secure, dry fix, weather tight roof space ventilation solution for the roof ridge. Lay the underlay and batten the roof in the normal manner. The underlay should be left 30mm short of the apex on either side of the roof. Do not fix the top tiling battens at this stage. Add ridge battens to the height specified in the fixing instructions. Fold the ridge batten strap so that the sides of the strap lie flat against the trusses. Using two 30mm stainless steel angular ring shank nails provided, nail the strap to the rafter through the nail hole directly below the fold, one each side. Drive the nails as far into the rafters as possible so the strap is not slack. Fix the batten strap to each rafter. Fix the top tiling battens on either side of the apex according to the fixing instructions. Lay and fix roof tiles in accordance with the manufacturer's fixing specification. If using dry verge system, Position a filler unit on the first tile and mark a section to remove. Take another filler unit and cut this to fill the gap at the verge. Lay profile filler units along the roof tiles, snapping them together on either side of the ridge to receive the ridge tiles. On gable end roofs, use a block end ridge tile as the first ridge tile. Ensure the sides of the ridge tile are located in the trough of the filler unit on each side of the ridge. Slide the first ridge to ridge seal under the open end of the first ridge tile. Slide the next ridge tile over the ridge to ridge seal. Continue along the ridge line. Fix the block end ridge with a wood screw and washer through the nail hole. Ensuring the clamp plate is parallel to the ridge line Screw the ridge to the ridge seal centrally into the ridge batten. Continue fixing ridge tiles and ridge components along the ridge line. The ridge end is finished with another block end ridge tile. For more detailed fixing instructions, visit www.redland.co.uk.